For this assignment, you're going to need to create a table-based site. This is a traditional way of doing things, but it's not the way that is considered proper at this point. So you may ask yourself, why am I having you create a site based on tables? The answer is that there is a good chance if you go into web design as a field that you may have to take a table-based site and convert it into cascading style sheets. And it's really not that hard to do. So you're going to create a very simple table-based site, which you'll find still does work in most browsers just fine. Um, it's just not ideal for ADA compliance. It doesn't do a good job separating the data of the page from the structure of the page. But it does work as far as a visual outline. Let's take a look at the site itself before we get into the code. Now the simple way to do this is you're going to create the first page and then you'll choose File, Save As, and save your other two pages and just change the content in the main part because what you're going to do is you're going to create a table and it's going to have two columns and three rows. Then you'll merge the first row into one column. You'll mer merge the last row into one column creating a header and a footer. And then in the center portion, that's where your content will change. So since I'm going to use the same exact format, I'll create the format, the header, the footer first. I actually created the whole first page and then just swapped things on the interior pages. So I have Ireland, I have England, and I've got a couple images in each one. And I have got them keeping the exact same layout, including the same links. So it's very simple for creating three pages. You'll just take your one, your first page that you create and then you'll copy it over. So you can see you end up with a merged row in the top, split columns here in the center, and you're merged across the two columns at the bottom. So how do you code it? Now you do have the link inside of my page taking you to Seamus, or if you're just viewing this online at YouTube, it's mary.mccdgm.net CIS 142 Unit 6 Lesson 3. And if you go to the index page for this, you can just go to Unit 6 Lesson 3. Now I am doing this in the older um, doc type HTML4. I'm not trying to do this in HTML5. You can, but it's discouraged. Do put a title on here, and then I've set all my styles in an internal style sheet. I did not get really in-depth in this. I should have included an image style, adding some padding to the images so that my text was not right up against the image here. But really, let's take a look at how I set up the table. The table takes over the entire body section. So the first thing that you do in the body section is you create a table. I've aligned it to center. I've created a border of 0 and a width of 960. And what that does for you is if you resize your page, you have the exact same width of the actual content and just your background changes here as far as the size that it has. And so in the table, I have my call spawn set to 2. This is what lets me set the masthead across two columns. And then I get into the second row and this has my links over here on the left hand side and then when I get into the second column here you can see that I'm putting all of my content in here I'm aligning it to my image to the left I'm setting the width I'm putting in meet Seamus there's my heading two all of my content is actually going in that single cell of a table. So this content is all one single cell. And then I get to the final row, again a call span of two, making it stretch all the way across the whole table. And that just has all photographs or original works uh, by me and property of me. So that's the simple layout. And this was used for a long time before CSS was strongly supported. There are still many websites set up this way and they are still functional but it's not ideal. You need to do this once so that if you end up having to convert one now you'll know how the old style is set up so that you can convert easily to CSS by using div tags.